Each time you begin to meditate, start with thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill is a wish for happiness, your happiness, the happiness of other beings. Tell yourself, may I find true happiness? May all beings find true happiness. That's why we're here. We're looking for a happiness that's true, a happiness that lasts, which is going to require some work. Because true happiness is different from the normal pleasures of the world. Some pleasures you can buy. Some pleasures come simply from relaxing. But they come and go. If you want a happiness that's true, it has to come from within the mind, and the mind needs to be trained. Because otherwise it can create all kinds of trouble instead of the happiness you want. At the same time, the happiness that comes from meditation, the happiness that comes from within, doesn't create any burdens for anyone else. Again, this is very different from normal happiness. Normal happiness is like eating. When you eat, somebody else has to suffer someplace down the line. So we want to look inside. And of course, when you look inside, you see there are all kinds of things going on in the mind. So the first step in training it is to make up your mind you're going to stay with one intention. The intention here is to stay with the breath. And to get prepared for that, you put the body into position and the mind into position. The body in position means you sit your right leg on top of your left, your hands in your lap, your right hand on top of your left hand. Think of a string extending from the top of your head up to one of the rafters here on the, the roof of the hall. And your body is hanging from that string. In other words, allow your back to align itself in a way that feels straight, not too straight, but straight enough to be comfortable. So the body doesn't slump down. That's the body in position. The mind in position is focused on the sensation of the breathing, wherever you feel it. Could be at the nose. I mean, you may notice the rise and fall of the chest as you breathe in, breathe out, the rise and fall of your shoulders, the expansion and contraction of your abdomen, or just the general flow of energy throughout the body as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Focus on whatever sensation seems most prominent, and allow it to be comfortable. Notice what kind of breathing feels just right, not too long, not too short, not too shallow, not too deep, not too heavy or light, not too fast, not too slow. You might want to experiment a bit. John Lee recommends starting out with a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths, then allowing the, the breath to find a rhythm that feels good, feels satisfying. And then notice how the needs of the body may change. Sometimes a certain rhythm feels good for a while, and then it doesn't feel so good anymore. Then you've got to experiment some more. Now there's, in other words, you've got to be watchful. Don't let the breath get mechanical, or otherwise you get bored. But realize that as you breathe in for a while, you're going to be changing the energy needs of the body. So you have to adjust the breath so it feels just right coming in, just right going out. If the mind wanders off, bring it back. Wanders off again, bring it back again. Don't get discouraged, don't give up. Each time you come back, ask yourself, could the breath be more comfortable? Could it be more gratifying? 
What kind of breathing allows the body to feel full all the way through the in breath and all the way through the out? In other words, you're not kind of you're not trying to squeeze the breath energy out of the body as you breathe out. The breath will go out on its own. Same time when you're breathing in, you don't want to force it in to be too long. The mind wanders off again. Ask it, where are you going? You're looking for trouble. You're looking for your same old pleasures as before. Look, we're here working on something new, something you haven't experienced before. A pleasure, a happiness, a sense of well-being that comes from deep down inside. And that can come only when the mind has spent some time with one object, focused on one thing. As the Buddha once said, there is no happiness other than peace. Here he's talking about true happiness. It comes from the mind, feels peaceful, feels at ease when it can settle down and feel at home here in the present moment. So as you get the breath comfortable, that's a home for the mind. And as soon as the breath starts feeling comfortable, think of allowing that sense of comfort to spread through different parts of the body. You go down the back, out the legs to the tips of the toes. See, that part of the body feels comfortable again, all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Then you go down the shoulders and the arms. Think of that part of the body feeling comfortable all the way with the in-breath, all the way with the out. If you don't feel any breath energy flowing there, you might think simply, well, just allow those parts of the body to relax while you maintain your posture, but relax into the posture. You find any joints where you feel any tension, say, in your wrists, in your fingers, in your elbows, again, allow them to relax all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. Think of the sense of comfort spreading down the front of the torso. All the way down through your intestines. Think of the whole body feeling at ease all the way through the in-breath, all the way through the out. What you're doing is you're giving yourself work to do with the pleasure. If you simply allow the breath to be pleasant, after all you find yourself drifting off, you lose your focus. You may even hit a little air pocket where you drop out of consciousness for a second and come back. Now to avoid that, that's why you work with the sensation of the comfort, the ease, the breath energy flowing through the different parts of the body. So the whole body feels unified, at ease, nourished by the breath. Now, if pains happen to come up while you're sitting here, the first step is not to pay any attention to them. The pain comes up in your legs, say, well, that's just in the leg, it's not me. There's just a pain there, but it's not aimed at me. I don't have to suffer from it, I don't have to identify with the leg. I can be more interested in the sensation of the comfortable breathing. So maintain your foundation there with the breath. Don't get distracted by the pain. When there's a sense of well-being that goes deep down inside, right down into the heart, okay, then you can think of it spreading down through the area where the pain is, down through the hips, down through the legs to the, knee, the knees, the ankles, wherever the pain may be, and then out, out through to the foot. That you loosen up any sense of tension or tightness that may be connected to the pain. But you maintain your center at the spot where you began, the center where the sense of the ease and well-being of the breath is most prominent. You've got to learn how to protect that focal point, that sense of ease at that focal point. Learn to cherish it.
because it's going to be your foundation. When you learn how to keep that sense of ease going as you're sitting here, then when you get up, try to keep it going as well. Get up, walk back to the house, walk back to your tent. Have that sense of well-being, say, in your heart, in your chest, in the middle of the head, wherever it, your focal point is. When the mind has a sense of ease, a sense of being at home here, that's the foundation for training it even further. For the time being, don't worry about where the training is going to go. Focus on what you're doing right now. Get the foundation strong. It's like putting up a tall building. If the foundation is weak, then no matter how strong the rest of the structure is, it's going to fall down. You've got to get the foundation strong, solid, secure. So pay a lot of attention to this, this step in the practice, because everything else grows from here.